Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. It's Tuesday the 3rd. Yeah, I said it. The 3rd of November, 2020. All right. It's a big day, right? In the United States. The whole world's watching. All right. Let's see what's happening for today though. For the collective. This is a collective reading for Tuesday, the 3rd of November, 2020. Wow, look at that, the Queen of Coins. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or someone who is very stable. Very much, I felt with this card, just, you know, heartfelt, very heartfelt. Someone who's it's not all about the money. It's about what's in your heart and it shows up in the external, right? This queen is really about not just the way she earns her money, but it's through her heart that she does so. So it can be any sign and we have the star. The stars are aligning for her. She, she has the universe backing her up for sure. Not that we all don't, okay? Don't get me wrong. We always do. But it's also about, do you believe it? You know what I mean? That's the difference. So we have this queen who's very confident and very hopeful for the future in whatever she is doing whatever she is giving to others, she's showing her true self, right? It's all spiritual. She's highly spiritual. And of course, very, you know, intuitive, okay? A lot of earth signs are intuitive because, and you know, you don't think that they are, but they are because they're so grounded. They're very grounded. Look at that, they have, oh my God, the star and the moon. Wow, look at this. Sorry, my doggie's gone crazy. Well, they're supposed to bark. <laughs> okay, the moon, the mother, a mother, the divine feminine is leading the way, right? The stars are aligned, the divine feminine's leading the way for what I believe is a progression. It doesn't make a difference how we put these cards, right? This is... This is divine feminine all the way, right? Being very feminine, grounded, confident, a, a giving and receiving of love and knowing, knowing that even though you have perhaps been illuminated by whatever your own spirituality, your own value it doesn't make a difference what others say what matters is what you're like she's moving just with the flow of life she's moving with the flow of life nor does she need validation from the external that's what i was trying to say wow how nice is that okay there's a little you can't really okay that's why i held him up all right so let's keep going really nice that's truly beautiful she's gone within she's done her work and i'm i'm telling you this is someone who has done spiritual healing and not healing on anyone else but herself what do i mean by spiritual healing i mean that so, someone has gone within has done their like a mini life review so to speak of their life to incorporate their a new spirituality, a new clarity of truth for them, for this person, understanding what they have to offer. But it's really about serving. And, you know, Virgo Taurus Capricorn is all about devotion and serving. How can I serve you? This is across the board. Whatever sign you are, if you've done your spiritual work, you have achieved, right, a sense of new consciousness, a raising of consciousness, because you've gone within to understand what makes you tick. And a lot of people don't 
A lot of people don't. They don't do that work. It's not an easy journey. It's, it's going through the dark night of the soul, shadow work, whatever you want to call it. This person has gone through it all, right? Over the course of her life. And I say her because it's divine feminine, okay? And when you, when you do the work, you can't expect others to validate you. You don't. It kind of just, it's just not, it's not even a consideration. It's just not happening. It doesn't matter anymore. Right? The seven of wands. She's done her work. It's been rigorous, hard work. But now she sees. She sees what most don't. Right? From a higher viewpoint, vantage point. You know, that's what happens when you, when you really go within and do work on yourself. You find what, what makes you, you know, what makes you think the way you think. You find a place where there are no questions any longer to ask because you see the, diff, the, diff, the world in a different view the, through the eyes of God, truly. And then we have the Eight of Wands, right? This is how can I serve? No kidding. This is the arrows of, of knowledge, information, love to all. She's shooting them up into the sky. Those arrows are going upward, right? She has gotten to the pinnacle of knowingness. And this may not make sense for all, for sure. Because especially those who have not really sat, you know, sat down to think about it or, and or do the work. And that's okay. This is not about those who have not done the work. This is about those who have done the work. And this is your, this is your sense of, of now knowing and understanding what you have to offer to the world, right? And giving and shining that light for, for everyone. Sharing it. When we, when we, this is, a, the divine feminine now understands that her purpose, as all of our purposes, in this life is to serve and not to question what's next. You get to a point of just saying, show me the way. You just do. You stop asking questions. You stop watching YouTube. I mean, no, I mean, no offense, but it's true. You get to the pinnacle of the understanding of that. And that is what is called universal connectedness. One more. She's cut, Divine Feminine has cut out all the crap. And that's really what happens. And the crap of what others think, say, or do. She just said, we're done. Right? We're done. There's nothing to know. These are swords. There's nothing to, that I need to know. I understand the mind-body-soul connection. I understand what it is I am here to do, and that's what I'm gonna do. Bottom of the deck. So she's cut everything out. And this cutting out is not just people, places, and things. This is cutting out what you watch, what you listen to, um, where you go, how you see things now is different, completely different than it was before. And you can see the color depictions on these cards are exactly the same, right? We have, we have transformed into a place of knowing, knowingness, and no more questions. That's a progression, it's called a progression, and it's an elevation of consciousness, raising one's consciousness. Wow, how beautiful is this? 
someone's really done the work. And how do how does how do you start like a lot of people ask. They ask me, so how does that start? How does how does one go through the shadow self and how does that happen? Well, usually it happens through when hitting rock bottom, going to the depths of despair. Right? It's really and truly a lot like fighting for love, for self, going through the depths, like what dreams may come. It's like when Robin Williams went to hell to, to get her. That's what the dark night of the soul is like. Not, don't take that literal either, that movie. It's a very good movie, by the way. Five of Swords Reverse. Nothing, needing to know nothing, knowing what you need to know and not questioning what it is that you know. Ooh, you might have to rewind that one. It is. Someone has gone through the death of the old person. The old person shed their skin. And usually, like I said, we go to the depth, uh, the depths of, you know, of sorrow, grief, right? Loss, whatever losses one goes through. This is what that means. They get to that point where they say, wow, I have, there's gotta be, there's gotta be, right? People start praying. People start finding their spirituality when they get to the depths of hell. And I'm not saying hell is a place. It's not, by the way. It's a consciousness. Okay. One card for the overall reading. This is a beautiful reading. This is like the Phoenix Sun Rising. Phoenix Rising. There it is. Phoenix Rising. Look at that. Getting curious about why you do the things you do. Why do others do the things they do? How is it that one reacts the way they do? Finding yourself. Finding your North Star. Right? Elevating yourself. This is what we're here to do, you guys. Elevating yourself by first... You elevate because you've gone through a death of some sort, a loss, grief, pain, sorrow, right? And then you start asking questions, which is right here. You're asking questions about, well, geez, that, you know, now what do I do? Why did this happen? And then taking responsibility for it right here. Take responsibility for what happened, what you've seen, what you've been told, how you see things now, right? In a different way, this changes you. You get on your knees and you start praying. And then you realize that in order to move on, it's not about what, it's not about you anymore. It's about looking at how you have, you have to take responsibility for your actions responsibility for your actions, seeing your life through different lenses, right? Through the lens of the hawk eye or the eagle eye, meaning it's time to go within and seek some sort of, of um, why we do things, right? That's what, that's what inner work is. Why do we do the, why did that happen? And how can I take responsibility for what happened? It's not the blame game. It's taking responsibility for what, how this turned out, this loss, right? And how many times has it happened? And who's involved? And what is it that I need to know that I can change about me? That's the hermit. We ask all these questions. And then we get to the realization, illumination of, holy crap, I need to work on myself, right? We get that vision. We get that understanding. Something happens, right? We stop obsessively thinking and being confused about our real, our reality. And we disassociate because we're mourning. We disassociate from others. And then we go within, which is the hermit. And then we start 
realizing that there's more to life than the stuff that just happened and how can we take responsibility? That's the illumination of truth. And then we find the North Star. Again, the North Star is raising our consciousness and saying, okay, I got it. I have to change. I have to take responsibility. This is a karmic plan, earth plane. The earth plane is karmic. Therefore, in order for me to rise above in terms of my own consciousness and myself, becoming a better person, I need to really come to terms with the star lining up with what's happened, asking questions um, to the universe. This is going through the stages of meditation, contemplation, resolution, responsibility, acceptance, and allow it to all enter into a place of your own self, knowing that existence, existence lies within you. And then we rise. And then we are the phoenix rising. And now we have a clear understanding, maybe not for where we're headed, no, but for how I can serve you. It changes, it, sh it goes like this. You go, it's like a 360 degree turn of what it is that you're really here to do. And then you gain, you gain this understanding. Okay, I think that's, <laughs> all right. Be safe, be blessed, and if you are interested in a reading, just shoot me a text. I do want to apologize for those who have texted me and are unable at this moment in time to, you know, to to pay for a reading. I do apologize um, for that. And... Um, for those of you who don't, just wait until, you know, you don't really need to ask questions. I'm, I'm not, uh, I want to provide a service, but I also want you to know that if you hold on to your faith and walk in that faith with great love and understanding, you will find the answers that will help you. You don't need a psychic or, an, you know, a reader to... If you do need me, just tell me I need a couple questions and then we'll work something out. Okay, because I know a lot of people are struggling. Okay, um, be blessed and I'll talk to you tomorrow.